Hello everyone. Um, so this is my video on how to set up HDMI output from a newer Arcade 1UP uh, PCP that outputs uh, 1280 by 960. Now, you know, I've been working on a proof of concept in a previous video um, on some information I got from a, a user, uh, very, very sneaky, how to uh, plug up um, a monitor up to a um, generation one PCB, like a Dell monitor. But uh, I was unsuccessful doing it on uh, Gen 2 uh, mon uh, PCBs. Uh, it would work, but because the, the output was not 1280 by 960, uh, and the monitors that I have are uh, 1280 by uh, 1024, um, it would come out, but you know, you'd have repeating text on the bottom. Uh, the, last, uh, the first 64 lines on the top would show up on the bottom. Also had a nasty little line going across the uh, screen. Um, so then I came across this. Uh, I came across this Geek, Work, Geek Worm LVDS to HDMI adapter board. Now the thing that caught my attention was that it supported uh, two kinds of LVDS import and input, and one of those was 960p. So I decided to get one and test it. I got it today and it does work so you can get hdmi output from newer um cab arcade one-up cabs so this um ldvs to hdmi board is only going to work with um arcade one-up cabs that have 1280 by 960 monitors now i'm only going to say i only tested this with mba jam because that's the only uh one that i have that's a newer uh, generation monitor but it, and that's why I say it should work on most Gen 2 and Gen 3 cabinets, but because I haven't tested, I can't confirm it. But it sh but they both all have those same, those same new monitors, so it should work. So those games include games like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Star Wars, Marvel Super Heroes, I believe Burger Time, NBA Jam, and Golden Axe 2, among some of them. Now this will not work on any Gen 1 cabs and some Gen 2 cabs that use the, 10, the uh, 1280 by 1024 monitors. Um, and I say some Gen 2s because I believe, like, for example, uh, Final Fight, which I don't have on this list, but Final Fight, even though that's a Gen 2 cabinet, I think it still uses the Gen 1 monitor that's uh, 1280 by uh, 1024. So that's not going to work in this case. But other cabs that aren't going to work are Centipede, Galaga, 12 and 1, Pac-Man, a Generation 1 edition, which only has two games with it. Asteroid Space Invaders, Street Fighter 2, Gauntlet, Golden T, and Rampage. So the this process will not work with those games, unfortunately. However, it should it should work with Gen two, most Gen two and Gen three um, cabinets that have come out recently and have the uh, twelve eighty by nine sixty uh, monitors in them. And I say should because again, haven't tested them. Only tested NBA Jam. Okay, so this is gonna, the list of items that you're going to need for this. First off, you're going to need an Arcade 1UP PCB that's, a, uh, that had, that's connected to a 1280 by 960 uh, monitor. Uh, you're going to need a screwdriver because we're gonna need to get, you're going to need to get to the back to get to the PCB and take it off. Uh, you're going to need the Geekwork LVDS to HDMI adapter board. Um, I have the link in the comments below where to get that. Uh, you're going to need an HDMI cable. And finally, you're going to need an HDMI monitor or a monitor with a DVI to HDMI adapter. Uh, this could also be, be um, I don't know if they sell VGA to HDMI adapters, but if you're connecting up a 20-inch uh, uh, Dell that's a 4-3 ratio, you're going to need the DVI to HDMI adapter. And uh, once you get all those components, we can get started. And finally, just one more note, um, I am not responsible for damage to your PCB with this upgrade. Um, I've tested everything numerous times to make sure everything's worked, but anything can happen. So please note you do this at your own risk. Okay, so this is what you're going to get in the box. Uh, you're going to get the board. This is the LVDS uh, HDMI adapter board from Geekworm. Oh. And um, then you're also going to get this cable. Uh, it's a 30 pin to 30 pin uh, female on both ends. Uh, that comes in the box and then you're going to have to supply your own HDMI cable which I have right here. So once you have it on box and the HDMI cable we can move to the next step. Okay guys so for 
I've already taken the PCB out of the uh, arcade one up. Um, I just this just says makes it easier to hook everything up here. Um, so you just go on the back of the PC, unscrew it, the uh, back panel, and then just decase it. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. That's why I didn't video that part of it. So at this point, what I've done is I've unplugged uh, the 30-pin uh, LVDS uh, cable, and I unplugged the inverter. Uh, in this case, you're no longer going to need the inverter plugged in because when you plug it up to an HDMI monitor, it's going to have, you know, the inverter built into the uh, screen to power, you know, the, the screen. So you won't need this anymore. But we will need to plug this up here. So if you look on the board, now every board may be different. This is a... Uh, this is a uh, NBA Jam board. So basically, when this came out, you know, this cable was plugged in like this, right? So when you unplug it, what you want to make sure of is to check when you unplug it where there's a uh, red or white dot on the uh, cable. So in this case, like for example, on this one, it was white. So it was plugged in like this. And if you unplug it, make sure you know which side that... Um, white dot or a red dot is at because that indicates it's pin one and that's where you want to line it up so if it came out this so this came out this way and the white dot was pointing over to uh of, up here that's where pin one is now it's labeled on the uh board as well that's pin one but again you just want to make sure where that dot is um so now we're going to grab our uh cable that we got with our uh, invert our uh, LVDS to HDMI converter board which is the two um, ends right here which has the two uh, things I hope you can see it um, there we go I don't know why is camera acting up so anyway so on this one right here so we're just gonna take an end and we're gonna find that red dot um, so there it is. You see where that red dot is? So that indicates pin one. So that means pin one's here. So we're going to plug it in, line it up like this. So we're just going to plug that up. Okay, so now that's plugged in there. Now we're going to grab our, um, zoom out here a little bit. Now we're going to grab our LDVS board here. The HDMI board here. Now you'll notice on the top here you have two connections. Okay, the top one's for channel two and the bottom one's for channel one. We want channel one. Uh, you don't want to plug it into channel two. So um, make so we want not the top one, the bottom one. Okay, and on the bottom one, pin one is over to the right. So if you're looking at it like this, it's a uh, pin one's to the right. So again, taking our other end of our cable, we're going to look for that red dot. So, and there it is right there. Um, the red dot's right there. So, that indicates it's pin 1. So, when we plug this in, pin 1's over here. So, we want to make sure that that red dot, you know, is over to the right of it. So, then we can just plug this in. Now, starting at the end here. Um, so, it's not going to fill up the whole thing. It's, you know, because this is a 40 pin. Uh, this is 40 pins. So, we're only going to do the first... Uh, 30 pins there and the rest are going to be left the same now once we plug that up that's it um you know uh you'll notice some other things on this board you have some jumpers here that are set up like this you won't mess with the jumpers leave them alone once you plug this up and this end up you're set to go just again remember pin one pin one if you don't do it right you may fry your board so make sure you got it plugged up correctly Okay, so I got this. This is a 22-inch 1080p TV. Uh, just to show you again, I've got it hooked up here. Um, this is the arcade. This is the NBA Jam. Uh, this is a uh, this is a Gem uh, 2 monitor. It's connected to. So again, just to show you, here's the PCB for Arcade One Up running into the PCB to the HDMI. So when I turn this on, hopefully it will come up. And it should. Let's uh, adjust this. We'll go ahead and turn it on. Power.
Here's the loading screen. There it is. Now I still got volume coming through the uh, Arcade One Up speakers, um, through the PCB, but you can actually, there are, um, a little bit, but there are, there is a port on here to connect up your own speaker, to hook up your uh, speakers to. Um, sorry for the camera work. So you could hook up your speakers there. So. Um, so so you don't have to necessarily hook it up but since but since they already have a piece since they already have sound coming out of there and it's hooking up to your speakers to the cabinet you could uh you know you plug it up but you could hook up speakers directly to this board to get output um so let's just see what gameplay looks like So you see it's working. Um, so we got so it again it's working through the HDMI port. So now I'm gonna try to one so that, that is working. Okay, so I know the next question that's gonna come up is okay, you can do it through HDMI through an HDMI TV, but what about a Dell 20 inch or a Dell 19 inch? Well I got a Dell 20 inch here right here, the uh, 4 3 uh, ratio. And I, I got a, uh, it's plugged in HDMI to DVI, so it's plugged in the DVI port. I got a uh, adapter uh, DVI, HDMI to DVI. So let's see if it actually works. And this NBA Jam ones usually take a minute for it to boot up. There we go. We got the loading screen. Detected HDMI. And it looks like uh, everything seems to be working. Everything seems to be working. Okay. Um, see, it looks like it's in the right format. Now, if this runs on a 20 inch monitor, it's going to run on a, um, it'll run on a 19 inch monitor, a 17 inch monitor. Um, that's 4 3 or 5 4 ratio. So, with the HDMI uh, connector. So, so yeah, so this works. Um, it works on the older monitors as well with if you got a DVI to HDMI adapter. Now, for the heck of it, I went ahead and correct, connected this to a, uh, a Gen 1 uh, PCB. For example, this is Asteroids. Um, this, I'm suspecting this will not work uh, because the output for this card, it has to be not... Um, it has to be different resolutions, like 720p. The L, the LDVS has to have the output or the input coming in as a 720p, 960p, things like that. And that this one does not do that. Uh, the Gen ones don't. They do a 10, 1280 by 1024. So I suspect that this is not going to work. But we're going to give it a try anyway. So 
but I don't suspect it's going to come up. Yeah, so we're getting sound, but we're not getting video, and that and that's normal because, um, again, it doesn't support that uh, 960p like the newer monitors do. So it, it's just not going to work on an old uh, Gen 1 uh, PCB. So that's it. Um, this is how to get um, HDMI output out of your um, Arcade One Up if it if it's running a 1280 by 960 uh, p monitor. Um, again, this will not work with Gen One um, monitors because um, those monitors are running 1280 by 1024, and this uh, particular board, the LDVS to HDMI board, does not accept output from that uh, signal um, from that for that resolution. So it's only going to be newer arcade one-up cabinets that have that uh, 1080 or 1280 by 960 monitor and can do the uh, resolution output. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, put them in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching.